here. Are you glued to the floor? Ah, oh, here is my valiant knight. I thought I had made it very clear, Sir Alistair. Violence was out of the question. I am starting to think that all Sarwicks are bloodthirsty brutes. I am the one who will be blamed for your excesses. My deepest apologies, Your Grace. I had no other choice. I think it is time for you to go carry out your task. Bring that girl back to me, and don't disappoint me again. Very well, Your Grace. Wow. Like, I really don't even know what to say. That was ridiculous. It was like... I'm trying to think of the exact words of the op of what that option were. His... It was like... His weakness is his loyalty to John Aaron. And I thought it was going to be like, Oh, Valar was saying these bad things about you. I didn't think I was going to accuse him of giving blowjobs to Aaron. And then murder him in the middle of court. That is kind of frustrating. Sir Alistair Sarwick, if I could have a word with you for a moment. Who am I speaking with? I am Lord Arwood Halton, Master of Castlewood. Your family and mine have long been friends. Yes, I have heard tell of the Haltons of Castlewood. What can I do for you? I've heard rumors that you've had difficulty finding your brother, Garwin. Did you get the help you had hoped for from the Queen? More or less. I am surprised that it is public knowledge. The Queen doesn't seem inclined to flaunt her arrangements. You will quickly find that it is difficult to keep secrets inside the Red Keep. There are far too many inquiring ears about. On that subject, what say you to moving this conversation elsewhere? I have a residence in the city. We may speak freely there. I have vital information regarding your brother. Wait, really? Oh, come on. What a cliffhanger. What a tease. This is not a cool game. Oh, I guess I'm gonna get to go kill Yon and his crazy band of rapists. Particularly Kevin. Or, no, damn it, that's not his name. Jared. Jared's the rapist. At the least, Castle Black is safe again after we took care of Godric's hirelings. But he could have turned some of our brothers, Jor. And we still don't know which ones. Adam Flowers is responsible for leading the investigation and flushing out any traitors amongst them. A witch hunt. No good will come of that. I dislike this situation as much as you do, Moors. But we have no choice. I trust Adam. He will use discretion and wisdom. Just ask him if you need to know what the status is. Very well. And what of the imposter? John Aaron's death, the arrival of this girl, and the men from the south. These can't be coincidences. In my opinion, the imposter is nothing but a pawn. Everything leads me to believe that he works for someone more important. But we won't let them get away with it. The Night's Watch will hunt him down and make him pay. <laughs> I like this option. It's kind of like, yeah, no shit, bro. Or versus this one where it's like, oh, the rules demand that we do not do anything of the sort. They came to the gift, fooled us, and corrupted our sworn brothers. We are involved, whether we like it or not. You're right. We cannot accept this. We must be cautious. One misstep, and Castle Black could pay dearly. But the message must be clear. No one attacks us without paying the price. Moors, I need you to follow their trail. Thus, I am naming you as a recruiter of the Night's Watch. 
In this capacity, you will be able to leave the gift and act freely. This letter, bearing my seal, will prove your good faith to those who might doubt your word. Your mission will be to find the guilty parties and punish them in our name. Hunt down and eliminate. Understood. What do you plan to do with the girl? Perhaps I can go with Sir Moors on his journey. The North does not seem as safe to me as it once was. I agree. Besides, since you're the one the impostor is after, and he knows where to find you, you are no longer safe here. The Lord Commander is right. John Arryn entrusted this mission to me. I will not fail his memory. Patrick will accompany you to the border of the Gift. He has already proven his loyalty. As for me, I will put together an escort of our most trustworthy men. They will meet you near Molestown. Moors, you might cross paths with Sir Godric's imposter and his men. Be alert. I have every intention of crossing paths with him. The two of us have a matter to settle. May the old gods speed you. The perils of the Seven Kingdoms are as dangerous to a sworn brother's body as they are to his soul. But I have faith in you. You will succeed. Well then, let us get Patrick. He must be downstairs. I'm with you. Patrick, we're leaving for Molestown, and I need someone I can trust. You're coming with me. You want to go back? There will still be enemies there. Exactly. I need to know who sent them. At the moment, my only lead to find that out is the imposter. I'll find the rat and get him to talk. And I'll be sure to rid the gift of that traitor and all his henchmen. Very well. Give me time to get my things and I'll come with you. Sir Westford? Isn't it risky for me to go back there with you? After all, it's me that the men are after. As long as you're with me, you'll be fine. Trust me, lass. I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. Very well. I left my belongings with Sybil when we left Mold Town. If I can, I should like to get them before we leave the North. We'll be passing there anyway. As soon as we get the chance, we can go to your room. Thank you. All is well. I'm ready. Let us go, then. Damn, that took him all 30 seconds to get that. Secondary quests have a limited time of availability. Be careful not to neglect them for too long. Past some chapters, you'll not be able to complete them anymore, or they'll automatically be flagged as failed. Dang, I got a few of those. That's cool. You guys got anything for me? I'd like a new weapon. I don't... Huh, I wonder if my gold is shared across Alistair and Moors, because I don't remember getting that much money with Moors. Pretty much all this stuff is crap. And... Veil of Aaron. Oh yeah, that looked terrible though. Let's sell this stuff. Get rid of the shield, because... You know, who uses a shield? Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of this awesome axe. And then get rid of that spear I can't pronounce. I don't even feel like checking the armor is worth it, but I'm gonna try anyways. And yeah, not worth it. Whoa, wait, some say 560 there? Brendan Rivers Breastplate. I'm actually not sure who that is, which is strange, because most of these have been references to other people in the Game of Thrones universe. Oh well. What do you think they're doing here? Men from the hand of the king. Come to see the Lord Commander. Alright, let's see how many side quests we got going. We got three. The Black Bloodhound, New Blood. What's this one? Talk to Adam Flowers. I wish I wonder if there's a way you can set this as, like, the prime quest. I guess I can just deactivate the other ones. Well, alright. With politics, that's for sure. I guess that's the main story, so we're gonna skip that. 
There's someone to talk to over in this area. Hopefully that's the guy we need to talk to. Damn it. Someone's upstairs. Son of a bitch. Gosh. It's going to take me like a whole 30 seconds to walk over there. Sir, I think you're sitting at the bench wrong. Whatever. I'm going to be kind of sad when I finally get better armor than this. Because I think I'm going to miss those two heads. Oh, hello, Walder. Morse! What do you want of me, Walder? I have finished restoring the statuette that you entrusted me with just before you left to track down Gorold. Really? Let's have a look. I must say it was a true pleasure. Brothers normally ask me to paint them a pretty woman with big teats and spread legs. But I must say that this is a little more original. I realize we aren't the best of friends, but this statue is a work of art. I hope I treated it with the attention it deserved. I'm rather proud of my work. I returned it to its original colors, and it looks like new. It's beautiful work, Walder. I have never seen such a striking likeness of the warrior. It's as if you have given him life. It would appear the frost has not completely eaten away my hands. I hope you don't regret the price you paid for this job. Not at all. This statue is worth more than you can imagine. True. Actually, I have a vague idea of it. I've already seen this kind of work in the past, but only once. At the Great Sept of Baylor of King's Landing. I recall legends telling of statues made by the first disciples of the Seven when they still strode the hills across the narrow sea. They were carved into a star that the Seven had torn from the heavens. These statues depicted the true face of the gods, just as they were when they showed themselves to the Andals. And it is said that the Andals' greatest heroes carried them off when they snatched Westeros from the first men and the ancient gods. How could a man such as yourself find himself in possession of such a precious object? I've never taken you to be such a devout man. I never want to pick, like, these options where I'm rude to people just because I know almost nothing about Moors. This statuette of the warrior has always belonged to my family, as far back as the bloodline stretches. It is because of this that he walks alongside us. Have you heard of the Battle of the Field of Fire? Ah, now there's another great tale. At the time of Aegon the Conqueror's conquest, the Lannister King and the King of the Reach united their forces to fight the Targaryen and their dragons. This is not just any old tale. This battle really took place, and it was the greatest massacre in the history of the Seven Kingdoms. On that day, more than 4,000 knights perished in the fire of those three great dragons. Amory Westford, my ancestor, fought under the colors of the lion, as is our duty. When the shadows of the dragons blotted out the sky, and their fire engulfed both men and beasts, he prayed for his life, as he had never done before. He swore then on his immortal soul, that he would search for and gather all seven, collecting the six other statues which accompany the warrior. Amory survived, and he set about his quest to give thanks to the seven. He never succeeded, and our bloodline inherited his oath. I imagine that faith comes more easily when one rushes into the jaws of such monsters. It's a beautiful tale, all the same. You know, I could maybe help you keep this ancient promise, Moors. <laughs> My pastor's dead! No! Let's just say that I'm interested. What do you hope to gain from it? Sometimes it's pleasing to be able to work on something just because it's beautiful, Moors. What I want is to finish what I've begun before I'm judged by the Father. Would you do it for free? I've not taken so much joy in anything since I chose to take the black, and you know how important the faith is to me. If I could help you accomplish this sacred vow of your ancestors, 
I'd be paying homage to the gods for all their graces. And